I like that idea to, to bring things out of the context. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of eclectic world where I live in or mm -hmm. what I bring to people. This is, this, this is all brought together. We need really sometimes a clash or something, that you, something weird to make it all much more uh, interesting. Okay, so I would love to see the book and then just a few objects that you love in particular. So this is a book that you created with Jim Thompson. We just stayed up for a week and we talked and we talked and we talked and then suddenly, yeah, we came up with all those wonderful, with this entire collection with beautiful glaze, wool, and then ribbons, and cottons. And the idea was that you can furnish a complete Gert Florian's home mm -hmm. with Jim Thompson, hmm. which is very special for them because the, the company is in fact world renowned for the silk weaving mm -hmm. of the Jim Thompson factories. So I've now in fact my complete entire world with the beautiful candy Ipanglé. Yeah. Uh, then I was inspired by the wonderful um, um, the backdrops of the Matisse uh, paintings, mm -hmm. where this is in fact the wallpaper, and then um, be it became this extravagant uh, paint painted uh, bouquets, and the wonderful Aurelia that that stripes and silk. And these are like are any these are designed by like this print this is, is, is you. This is me. This okay. is all redesigned because you can bring ideas, but mm -hmm. you have to rework it and rework it and re because because of the copyright. Mm -hmm. So everything is redrawn, restudied, of course, change of scale. What does this refer to? Because I mean, it's clearly not just a book. Like, what is what no, is this? No, this refer is in fact as? all about. It's all about flowers. This is mm -hmm. all about a, a travel through Europe. Mm -hmm. This is for me Capri, Italy. That is all this this lime and the mm -hmm. citrus and the, and the, the, all is la laid on. It's uh, French and Italian painters, mm -hmm. uh, backdrops, unusual things. Um, and of course, it's again my world, daily life, generosity, color. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of eclectic world where I live in or mm -hmm. what I bring to people, this is, this, this is all brought together. All right, object number two. Maybe we go up, or should we do the ceiling maybe? Is the that ceiling would be because great. Because that is part of a, a, a interior design. Let's right? do the ceiling. So tell me where this ceiling came so from. So this is in fact a very lucky, lucky with this element. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the World Exhibition in 1958 in Brussels. Mm -hmm. World Exhibition, which brings always like fabulous, yeah, interesting pavilions, mm. like we now have in Venice, for instance, every, every two years. Mm. But there, there was the Moroccan pavilion, mm -hmm. and the Moroccan pavilion never went back to Morocco. So it went in storage in the Brussels, a huge, huge storage somewhere. And then 10 years ago, they offered me the different, uh, well, different ceilings, mm -hmm. I have four of them, and some doors and windows. And I think yeah, it's wonderful to incorporate. Mm -hmm. uh, not to make it all, I'm not that keen on making Moroccan interiors, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you do in a renovation and you bring in an element like here uh, on that height, I think it's wonderful. This is the guest room. Mm. When you are here for one or two nights and you can wander and dream a bit before you, because in the evening when you have, it's very uh, glittering and like you have in Persia with the mirrors, and the, there is a kind also of paint who is reflecting. Are they individual pieces that they're fit four, into each they're other? They're four parts. Okay. Four parts. Oh, well, no. The, so I see, see the four sections, but I'm but saying for the different depths. All depths is it it's layered. It's unbelievable. It's three, yeah. four layers, uh, how it's built on. Hmm. Yeah, that's stunning. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Let's keep it moving. What else? In my job, what I love, in fact, is the contrast between something very sophisticated, like a tazza, like a tray, like the silver tray. Mm -hmm. But then on top, on, on what I found on the street, <laughs> yeah. it's a kind of uh, transparent. Mm -hmm. um, I like that idea to, to bring things out of the context. Mm -hmm. To bring in here again a very bourgeois uh, 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 salon table mm -hmm. is all I hate. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's for me too perfect. I mm -hmm. think so we need really sometimes a clash or something that you, something weird to make it all much more uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we need that kind of rock and roll element in it mm -hmm. of bare chalk walls. And but when you really start to do too much the symmetry and too much the perfection, mm -hmm. then it starts to be interior design extremely boring for mm -hmm. me. Definitely. <laughs> Let's do maybe two more objects. Do you have time? Okay. Listen, let me think. Uh, 
uh, truly, I don't want to. I don't want to take up your time if no, you need to. Then maybe we do something uh, down, maybe at the main floor, then something. Sure. Like yeah. We work now on a beautiful loft here in Antwerp, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to do in more, like in the seventies, like with a lot of shelving in inox. Mm. We have the, now. I mean, on those inox shelves, mm. uh, there is a, there's only the half of, the, but an enormous collection of the Malachite. The blue turquoise is older than the green, mm. so we have two ages of, in fact, of that uh, malachite. It comes from Central Africa. It's like a huge piece of gum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You think about that. I love these. These are they're beautiful. What, this one is malachite as well? That's also, but that is more a collector's piece because it's more like sugary on it. So it that is, is, yeah. really like a special piece. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's another kind of oxidation or it all has to do with age and where it's found. Mm. And then maybe you can tell something about the wonderful young sculpture where we will have next month mm -hmm. our solo exhibition. Uh, I will send you a CV. That's Florian sure. Tombal. Mm. So what he makes is what I love to always exaggerating. Mm -hmm. So it's inspired, in fact, by the Greek and the Roman and the old yeah, mythological world. Mm -hmm. And he makes um, Minerva, he makes Zeus, he makes it will be, if I will send you all when it's when I would it's love stalled, that, yeah. I will send you the information. Is really, really, uh, uh, this is aluminium again. Suddenly I have something with aluminium and yeah. metal. <laughs> it's maybe after and all the, I love that kind of, and also this kind of presentation. I know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't notice the presentation at first, yes. but it's literally styrofoam. I will do all the presentation on this. Yeah, And beautiful. on boxes, carton boxes, mm -hmm. to make it really like very, to focus on the, on the, on the work. Mm -hmm. I love this kind of exaggeration mm -hmm. of that, uh, it's very theatrical. Gert, this was incredible. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> Most you. Most welcome. Yeah.